Hey, so I alluded to a, a message that I had received on Reddit about the specific person thing. Um, and this video is not uh, manifestation advice. It's not advice on a specific person. However, if you are on this video, watching it, if you are watching this video, not on it, um, then I think you can probably um, assume that you're supposed to be watching it. Why? I don't know. What you take from it is what you take from it. And what you take from it is the right thing. I'll say that. Um, so I got this message from somebody on Reddit. Uh, and the message essentially was, I have been doing everything right in manifesting my specific person for six years. This is somebody I had a relationship with. We broke up through a series of misunderstandings. I absolutely love this person and I have lived as this person's spouse in my mind, just like you're supposed to for six years. What do I do? What am I doing wrong? Um, and I'm gonna tell you that as I've said on my last couple videos and probably many others, the specific person is not an area of interest to me. Um, I, I, I've never been so attached to another person that if they said to me, I don't want to be with you anymore. I'm not happy with you. Uh, whatever. I've never been so attached to somebody that I would then continue to pursue that. Um, and I attribute that to having a decent amount of self-worth. You know, I, I don't feel that I have to be with somebody specific. Um, not, I'm not trying to say I've never had any issues with this because I certainly have. In fact, I attributed finding the right relationship. Um, I, I attributed to that basically the meaning of life for a long time, but never a specific person. Um, and so my advice on this is um, if you've already exhausted every avenue, I'm sure you've watched every video. I'm sure you've tried everything. I'm sure you've been to every subreddit. I'm sure you've read every book. Um, and my advice would be, uh, from my perspective to fucking drop it, dude, fucking drop it. Um, what a waste of six years of your life. Did you learn anything during that time? Like, have you grown as a human or have you just been sitting around doing this thing to try to get this thing? Like what mental state do you have to be in to do that? That's the place to look. That's the place to start doing stuff. And this is just my advice. I mean, this is real world advice. This isn't, uh, you need to do more imaginal acts. I mean, I, I'm coming at it from a practical standpoint. Um, everything I've ever done has had signs of life immediately. Um, and having signs of life immediately is a requirement for me to want to do something. It's the reason why I never had an unsuccessful business because, you know, four out of five businesses fail. People don't, uh, take a salary for a lot, you know, often people don't even get paid while they're trying to get a business off the ground. They have to use their state, you know, they deplete reserves they already have trying to get something going. Um, that's not something I would ever do ever, ever. Uh, every business I've ever had has been profitable right away. Uh, immediately everything I've ever done has turned a profit. Like that's the only way I would be willing to, uh, do it. So, you know, it's, it's the same thing like with the SP thing. Um, am I willing to take all of my reserves, all of my creative energy, you know, that I've built up or that I have and put it all on this one thing uh, and continue to not get a payout from that for five or six years, hoping that it's gonna, you know, play out the way I want it to. Um, do you have the ability to see that through is it really worth it? Um, th these are questions you have to ask yourself. For me, I can't think of a situation where it would be worth it. And I have people that I absolutely love to death. You know, there are people that um, I would be absolutely devastated if they were gone. It doesn't change that. It doesn't change that. It's not about a level of love, you know. And while we're talking about love, which is often, you know, what people say their motivation is for wanting a specific person, you know, um, I don't know my experience of love from a, a place where I don't need it. I don't need a relationship where I've gotten to the point where I'm okay by myself and I'm okay with myself and everything. Uh, 
My experience like with my fiance, my relationship is completely different from anyone I've ever had before. Uh, it doesn't require me to devalue myself in any way to be with another person. It, it doesn't, uh, it, it requires, I need so much less from the relationship than I have needed from every other one. You know, it's, this is the closest thing I've ever experienced to that Bible verse about love being kind and patient and not keeping score and all that stuff. You know, um, I think really a lot of the time these SP things are not coming from love. Uh, and that the only value that I can see in a lot of these is if it wakes you up to the fact that you're really seeking yourself as cheesy and hippy dippy as that sounds, you know, um, so, you know, my real world advice on anything that you're trying to manifest is that, um, you know, you need to be, you need to be careful about what you're investing in. You have this creative potential. You have 24 hours in a day. You have however many years of your life, you know, uh, well, are you going to invest it in something like that, that, you know, maybe you're going to get some grand payoff in the end. Maybe, um, you know, you're going to invest all your, all your time and money and become, you know, uh, a Tesla, uh, or, you know, you, are you going to take this, the, the lesser route or whatever, the lower, I don't know if it's lesser is even the right way to put it. Like, are you going to go for a sure success and, and, and know that you're going to end up getting something that's going to be satisfying to you. I don't, there's no contest between those two things for me. And so, you know, this is everything on this channel is coming through that lens, um, through that perspective. So my advice on the six year, no signs of life manifestation. If you've exhausted everything, if you think you really have done it, um, man, I don't know. I'd be out of there. I'd have been out of there. I probably never would have done it to begin with, but I'd have been out of there a long time ago. Um, on to figuring out what I want and allowing that thing to be made manifest in my reality rather than, you know, betting everything on red and hoping that you get lucky. Because that's what a lot of these seem like after that amount of time to me. And like I said, this isn't manifestation advice. This is like, do you want to be happy or miserable advice? So, um, I think if after six years you've got nothing to show for it, you can pretty much assume that it's bullshit to begin with, or you're doing it wrong and you don't know how to do it right or you would have probably figured it out. That's just, that's where I'm coming from. I like to see people happy and successful. Um, and, and that's always been the way I've done things and I'm happy and successful. So, I don't know if that does anything for anyone. Sometimes I feel bad putting this stuff out there because the last thing I would ever want is to discourage somebody. But, you know, I think sometimes these videos that I make about this are like just a little tap on the head for somebody who is uh, inside an illusion that they want the thing that they're chasing. And so if that happens to even one person from this video, I consider this a totally worthwhile eight minutes and 33 seconds of my life spent. So um, to the person, if you are watching this, the person on Reddit, you know, I've seen you post and you seem like a really decent person. You seem young and uh, it's going to be okay. Whatever you decide is going to be okay. I, you know, I, I don't know what else to tell you besides to give you some real world advice about just um, moving on. Um, sorry that I can't give you the magic words that you are hoping for. Have a great day.